Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Taskmaster Tuesday. In Taskmaster Tuesday, it is my job to breed Brother Monroe. Uh, no, <laughs> it's my job to complete tasks in as funny, efficient or useful a manner as possible. And over the last few weeks, I have had duels with Brother Monroe. This one was supposed to also involve Spartan Elite, but sadly he has been hindered by something. And that means I am once again taking on Brother Monroe. This time around 1925, we get to either design a battleship or a battle cruiser. I'm going to build mine, he's going to build his, we're going to exchange these ships using screenshots, and then we're going to fight it out. Now, um, this means I'll be fighting his ship, he's going to be fighting my ship, and I'm going to try and build a ship that is completely treaty compliant, because we have quite a lot of design restrictions. Uh, by the way, don't mind the range, it's supposed to be 30,000, but at the moment I'm just designing this ship to be able to send it over to Monroe. Um, requirements. Maximum tonnage, 40,000 tons. Ship must have at least 10,000 kilometer range, must have a radio or RDF. Secondary battery of at least 6 or more 4 to 8 inch guns. An anti-air battery of at least 10 2 to 3 inch guns. Anti-torpedo protection level 3 or better. And lastly, a double or triple hull bottom. That's a whole shopping list. Um, that's going to be interesting. What I want to do is try and recreate my ships from the campaign as closely as possible. Sadly, I don't believe I get access to 18-inch guns, but we get 17-inch guns that, by the nature of 1.06 beta, I can now adjust to be even bigger, aka 17.9-inch. But they're Mark 1. That's a bit of a problem. I might need to go for something a bit smaller. Ideally, the Mark 3 14 inches, I think. Anyway, I can be 40,000 tons, but I will have a sleek ship. Thank you very much. So I can make this more. Uh, can I go to 40, 44,000 tons? Probably not. That's 440,000 stealth. Uh, 43,800, no, 43,500, no, 43,100, no. Why are you not adjusting? Thank you. 39,994 tons, sold. That's one of the things that I need. I'm going to go with elite crew, ideally standard quarters. Of course we're going to adjust all these new measures. I must have at least anti-torpedo 3. Okay. Double or triple hull bottom? Uh, double. Triple maybe if I have the, the opportunity to do so. High and Citadel, which I'll revisit in a minute, because it's the 1.06 beta and you get all sorts of new Citadel gimmicks. Engines. I will gladly take gear turbines too. The ship in my campaign used to do 40 knots. It's... Not exactly going to be easy to replicate that, but I'll try. Range required, 10,000 kilometers. I'm currently way above that, and I have zero engine efficiency. So that is something that I can still adjust. Let's get a fairly sleek rear tower. The problem that I already foresee is that I'm going to have an issue with getting all the secondary requirements, if I want to make it this fast. Because I used to have a ship in the campaign that could do 40 knots. Uh, it had 18-inch guns. It was, I think, one of my best ships I've ever designed in this game. But it had almost no secondary armament. And this ship needs that. It needs to have a secondary battery of at least 6 or more 4 to 8-inch guns. Yeah. Anyway, let's start with those then. I don't expect the ship to get within secondary range. So 4-inch guns ought to be enough. And if I need to have at least 6 or more 4-inch guns, or 4-8-inch guns, I'll just go with this. Um, sorry, that's already too many. I need to have 6 or more 4-inch guns. So I now have 6. 6 4-inch guns. 3-port, three 3-starboard. Three Will they actually do anything? Probably not. To save some weight... I can now, by miracle of the new patch, say that these calibers are going to be a bit smaller, or at least the barrel length is going to be reduced. This is going to make their range far less, 
Um, but then again, I don't expect them to be anything useful. And I save... Yeah, I'm saving a lot of tonnage. No, I'm saving five tons with that. You know what? Never mind. Okay, what else do I need to have? Anti-air battery of at least 10 2 to 3 inch guns. Yeah, right. Um... <laughs> that doesn't fit on this tower. Well, shit. Okay. I need to have 10. Doesn't say they need to be useful. Doesn't say they have to be in positions to where they can actually shoot. Here. So that's 10. Actually, that's more than I need. Uh, let's just remove these. Okay. What else? A radio or RDF? Radio or RDF? Let's go for RDF. Well, that's 6% gun aiming speed. Gun aiming speed in this patch is going to be more important because once your games or once your games are fully aimed, yes, once your guns are fully aimed, you can actually get a better rate of fire, supposedly. The thing is, these things tend to be heavy. Advanced RDF saves 400 tons. Hmm. Six aiming speed, three aiming speed. Let's go for three and see if I can adjust with anything else. I would like to get, again, more gun aiming speed here. Um, let's go with better oil. Let's go with a reduction in this. Because that's still 14,506 kilometers, so that's still plenty. Time to go for some main guns. I think a medium barbette ought to be enough. That ought to be able to house these 14-inch guns. 14-inch guns. Triple. One there, one there, one here. Now, with this new patch, the more room you take up with your guns, the larger your citadel will be. So in my case, it is actually very beneficial to make this thing as small as possible. Something like this. Let me slightly farther. There. Now I have a very good displacement of weight. Engine efficiency is not quite 100, but I can live with that. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit slower. I'm going to make it 38 knots. There. All right, what else do I need? Turning rate? Nah. Not really. I would... Whoops. I would very much like barbette armor, though. Sorry about that WhatsApp ping. Um, I do very much like barbette armor, because I prefer not to blow up. When it comes to loaders, I would love to get the auto-loading guns. They're probably a bit heavy. Yeah, they're a lot heavy. 20% gun reload time reduction, but everything becomes heavier. Semi-auto-loaders. Okay. Now, I want to make these guns as accurate as I can. These 14-inch 74 guns. 74, new number. It means how accurate they are, or it means how long the barrels are. Currently, I'm expecting to fight at 20,000 meter range, which means I have 1% chance to hit. That's a bit low. Let's make these barrels longer. So, 14-inch guns. Diameter is going to be staying the same, but length is going to go up. So where it used to be 20,000 kilometer range, well, 20,000 meter range, 1.1 accuracy, and now have 3.3% accuracy. The closer we get, the more deadly this thing becomes. Right. That's the ship. At least that's the armament. Uh, super heavy shells, probably too heavy. We're going to go with cat ballistics. I don't really care about my AP shells in this case. TNT... I could not get any better powders because they haven't been researched yet. Electrical turrets because the other ones are apparently obsolete. Giving me a turret rotation speed of 3.08 degrees per second. Holy Jesus, I now have massive amount of range. 53.4 kilometer range? I can't even see that far. Not with this tower. That's... Pretty insane. And that's for a 14-inch gun. Um, how much can these things pen? Yeah, a lot. 20,000 meter range, they'll pen 27 inches of armor. Okay. What if I go for slightly smaller diameters, like 13 inches? This would still give me... No. Update that. 
There. 30 kilometer range. Pen, which I think is still good enough. 20,000 meter range, 27.7 inches, 22 inches of armor. Um, nah, no, actually, might not be enough. Put that back. Balance it out. Go on. Here. Okay. What can I save on? What do I not need that much of? Speed? 35 knots? Because I still would like to tack on a bit more armor. And maybe do some better steering gear. Because right now, I have a turning circle, but that's about it. 1500 meters. This is going to push it down a bit. Uh, sonar is going to be useful to spot torpedoes. But what's the longest range torpedo that they could have? Those things look different. 12-2. Um, Let's say he went with the biggest torpedoes. That's the standards. 12-8. Nah, I don't care. I'm not going to be sailing in a straight line anyway. And if I launch torpedoes at Brother Monroe, despite him apparently being notoriously bad at dodging torpedoes, I think he'll dodge these just fine. So no, I'm not going to use torpedoes on this ship. So, let's have a look at the armor. Scrolling back up, uh, my bow armor is not going to be that important. My bow belt... Because I just want to protect the Citadel. So we're going to go with 3 inch here. 3 inch on the aft belt. Uh, main deck is far more important. Let's put that at 8. Let's put this at, I don't know, 14. And then we get the inner Citadel armor. Now again, if you don't have this, check my other video on how you can get this patch. It is very simple. And you can also get the Citadel armor scheme as you want to adjust it. This Citadel armor is going to be extra protective steel layering, which reduces the destructive power of a penetrating shell. So, it assumes that, for example, the main deck is going to be penned. But then, if it pens the main deck, I think they should reverse these columns, actually. Uh, if it pens the main deck, you're still going to have some armor reduction or some armor reducing the amount of damage that the ship normally would take. In my case, it's 1.1 inches of armor. Um, I haven't experimented with this enough to really give you a good opinion on how much I should have. Let's see, give me 0.1. Nah. I don't really care about the fore deck or the aft deck. I might come to regret that later, but right now, this is what we go with. I want to have the ship fight at 20 kilometer range tops and probably a bit closer than that, maybe like 15, so that I can get up to 8.2% accuracy and that's not counting anything like crew. So being able to withstand probably belt hits is more likely to be useful. Belt hits. Four belt and half belt, I don't care. Inner belt. That does assume that the main that the main belt is going to be penned. The shell is going to be slowed down by the main belt. The shell is going to be slowed down by the inner belt. And the second inner belt might do a bit more protecting of the citadel. Hmm. Switch this to heavy shells. Otherwise, I'm getting way too much pen. Mm, capped. 36.6 inches of armor. No, we're going to go with a bit more. Yeah. Capitalistic one. As for HE. Uh, no fuses. Or soft caps. That's a bit better. In case I absolutely can't... No. No, no, no. Hold on. If I absolutely cannot pen or over pen, I can switch back to HE. Let's see. Is this reasonable? 15,000 meter range. I cannot pen with 38 inch. Then I switch to HE and I blow up a superstructure. In that case, we're going to need better HE. That's more like it. That is more like it. HE still does a lot more damage, but also has far less pen. Okay, good. Anything else? Yeah, I'm thinking inner belt armor. Main belt, a bit more. Keep in mind, this is plus 140%, so it's a really tough ship. 
improve the main deck. Go to nine. No, don't go to nine inches main deck. Go to eight and a half. And up the inner deck a bit. One here. No, I'm going to get to two and a half. Whoa, this thing is a bit sensitive, this plus and minus thing. Two and a half. That's the inner deck. Uh, no, not quite. Okay, fine. This is my ship. Half to wait if that's a bit higher than I would like. Can I pull this turret further back in? Here. Perfect. That's my ship. Wait, why is it now? Oh! Oh! <sighs> I'm so used to finishing a ship up like this, but now I have pulled the turret back in further. And I should be able to do that with these turrets as well, so that I can have a smaller citadel, leading me to use less armor. Right, okay, up the armored belts. 16 inches is fine. Can we get a 9? Now we can get to 9, yes. Ah, one ton over. Fine. 13.4. There we go. There we go. Because if I now push this thing out to balance the ship, it's going to make the citadel too big. Oh, this is going to get a little tedious. All right. Well, here we are. Here we are. This is the ship. This is the Flora, Italian battlecruiser. And it adheres to all the treaty requirements as set forth in the task. I have the maximum displacement, I have the range, I have the speed, that was not a requirement. I have the radio, and yeah, I think I'm ready to take on Brother Monroe yet again. So, I'm going to send this ship design to him, he's going to send his ship design to me, and well, with this new patch it's going to take a bit more time to build each other's ships, but we should be able to do it. See you guys in part two. And here is Brother Monroe's ship. This is the Invincible. The Invincible is armed with some serious firepower. 14.9 inch guns. 64. 64 meaning, uh, there was some complicated formula for that, they have 20% length. Let's just leave it at that, 20% length bonus. So this makes them uh, not very quick to reload at 44.4 seconds, but very accurate. Especially at the ranges, of course, when you're looking at 10,000 kilometers, well, 10,000 meters or less, 20% in 1925. That is rather good. The shells also hit hard. At 15,000 meter range, they can pen 35 inches of armor. And that is deck... Oh, sorry, that's uh, belt armor. Deck armor, of course, is going to be greater, depending on the angle and the range, but I hope to be able to tank it with the belt. However, 35 inches of pen against Flora's 16 inches of armor it's cutting it close. It's not going to be easy. What else does he have? Well, he has a ship that is very well balanced. Uh, by the way, it might not be the exact same ship as he has shown it on his video, which is linked down below, because it is a pain to replicate these ships. And I know the devs are working on a system that is going to allow ship interchange uh, to be far easier. But right now, it is very complicated to do it and with the 1.06 beta patch it's even harder because with this particular patch you have the whole citadel situation the moment that you move the gun just one notch you immediately change the size of the citadel and that changes the weight that changes everything so that means that it's not going to be exact same replica ship but it's going to be very close anyway is the ship well protected why yes of course Barbet 4, Anti-Torp 4, it's almost like he's scared of something. Maybe he uh, saw my torpedo cruiser last week and desperately killed it. Anyway, um, Anti-Torps, not really going to be an issue because I don't use Torps, but it is a requirement to have at least Anti-Torp 3 on the ship, so he adheres to that. Reinforced bulkheads, anti floods Citadel 5. He's bringing increased AP shells, so more AP than HE, but he has a reduced complement, otherwise his ship was going to be too heavy. Cordite 3, TNT Bursting Charge, Electrical 2 Turrets, Auto-Loading 1. 
When it comes to the additional equipment, we have a Coincidence 5 Rangefinder, Hydroacoustic Station 3, and RDF. This is going to make his gun aiming speed a little higher than my own, but it shouldn't be that bad. Ship is very well protected, especially when it comes to the main belt as well as the main deck. 18, sorry, 8 and 6 inch, 16 inches of armor, 2 4, 2 aft, 2 aft deck, 2 4 deck, 2 superstructure, but 18.8 on the conning tower. Interestingly, his citadel is a bit less protected than mine, 4 2 and 1.1 on the inner belt. Sorry, his better protected versus my uh, 3 1 1 and 0 0.3 on the inner belt. It's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be a tough fight. He has me outranged with these guns because these things fire out to 45 kilometers. The game doesn't even show you the stats of being able to hit that far, but this thing definitely has me outranged. I can shoot out to... No, sorry, I have him outranged, but my chances of actually hitting something at that range are pretty damn poor. You know what? Let's just get into it. Let's see if I can keep my battlecruiser alive this time. Yeah. Kind of as expected. Um, at this range, you cannot even detect the enemy. Weather conditions for me are smooth waves, light breeze, clear weather, and daytime, which is why the, the skybox indicates either evening or nighttime. Hello. There it is. 15 clicks. Oh, shit. That's not good. That is seriously ungood. Um, what do I do? What do I do? I can push in and just turn it into a brawl, but a brawl is something neither of us are very good at. His shells are going to right go through all the armor that I have. Um, my shells are similarly going to go through his armor. My reload. 80 seconds? What? How is my reload 80 seconds? Send me auto loaders? Hold on. 80 seconds? That makes very little sense. What is it about these guns that makes them so incredibly slow to reload? Oh, nice. By the way, my muzzle velocity on these things is ridiculous. 1161 meters per second. HE? Even faster, 1274. You know what, we're just gonna keep steaming in his general direction. But we're gonna go at slow speed, because my speed capable, that is, of 35 knots, I don't think I'm actually gonna be using that. Seconds? I don't get it. After this battle is done, I'm gonna have to look into that. Oh. I have a veteran crew. I have semi auto loaders. What is it about this ship that makes it so slow? Over pens there. Don't angle too much now. Pens for him to pen me is probably extremely good. 10%? Oh. Oh, well, that could have fooled me. We're now at 7.5 kilometer range. It's just that his reload is going to completely cripple my ship. But he is angling very much open. So, well, my fore and aft belt are going to hate this, but this is going to be kind of sacrificed while I hope to get massive accuracy and massive damage into my ship right about now. Yes! Kill that thing. That's three engines out. And he's flooding. Monroe only went with standard bulkheads. Which is an interesting choice. Oh dear. Ooh. He missed? Really? That's interesting. Uh, how can I get a good thumbnail out of this? With this bow on fire, it's going to make it quite hard. Maybe like this? I don't know. Ricochet. That's what I like to see. Reload the guns. Fast is good. I've lost 10% of my crew. Fast is good. Turn the floor up. Be quick. 
I'm on three engines out. This means that the ship is even more prone to flooding. Ricochet. Yes, please. 100% chance to hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Reload the gun. No, he's already reloaded again. Fire! Yes! Now you're catching on. Ooh! Big. Big hits. Big damage, but only to the external parts of the ship, the bound stern. Why is his ship not accurate? It's like he keeps firing in front of my ship. Not this time around, though, but it was only partial pen. Full starboard turn. Boink. Invincible. Well, we'll see about that. Because you have quite a bit of flooding going on. I seriously don't understand this. I mean, yes, they are dual, they're dual barrel, as opposed to my triple barrel. But they're bigger guns. What is so good about the reload on this thing? Is it because they got autoloaders? And I have semi-autoloaders? Because I don't believe that that's going to shave 40 seconds off of your reload. Doink, ricochet. My chance to pen him should be, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I might actually win this fight. Go on. The damage in. Their accuracy seems to be pretty bad. Because they're still, for some reason, trying to get an accuracy ladder up. Yeah, they got 50% damage and stability. That's not going to help. Oh, we have to slow down. No. For fuck's sake, devs. Fix that bug. See, something like this, where you instantly stop... As far as I'm concerned, that should not be able to make it into the next version of the game. I don't know why that's still in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Overpen, flooding. You can see the bow is taking quite a pounding, but the citadel of the ship seems to be largely protected. As it should. So that out, Ooh, that hurt. At some point, we should be able to fire all the guns. Much like the Invincible is. They're down to 30% buoyancy. That was not as good as I hoped. Invincible is listing bad with starboard. But despite her guns looking pretty sad at the water, I think she'll still be able to shoot. Range. One kilometer. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yep. Would you like to educate me about how these guns are still able to hit my ship? Do they just ricochet the shells off the seabed and then into the side of my ship? I thought that this is something else that they were working on. Because even at max elevation, these shells should not even have some sort of trajectory to my ship. But apparently they do. The flora is suffering the consequences. H-E. I don't think so. Please use AP. Oh, no! 29% structural. 41% structural for them. Buoyancy 25. Buoyancy for me 90. But I'm flooding all over the ship. And I'm coming up on their stern. It's going to make it extra difficult to get a good pen in. Come on, flora. I would love to win at some point. I've lost... Three times? Twice to Brother Monroe now? More flooding. Down to 18% buoyancy. 17, 16, 15. I'm down to 74 and I'm still flooding. Structural integrity is dropping. 9%, 8, 7. She might go down. And she's no longer firing. I think her guns are now really struggling to get any kind of a solution. You can still see the turrets turning, albeit slowly. 2%, 0.9%, 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Yes! Not so invincible, are you? Not so invincible. Target eliminated. <sighs> okay, finally, I won, but... What is causing my reload to be so bad? 80 seconds?
I don't get it. I truly don't get it. Is it because I have heavy shells? Because this should improve the reload. Well, sorry, it doesn't improve the reload. It doesn't cost that much on the reload. So he's firing standard shells. Cordite, TNT, Bursting Charge. And it's a larger gun, right? It's a 14.9. This pushes it down to 77 seconds. It's not stellar. It's a Mark III gun. What? This is also a Mark III gun. What is going on? He has the additional barrel length. Is this a bug? Hold on. What if I increase the size of my guns? Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Doesn't matter though. 80 seconds. Uh, whoops. Still 80 seconds. So that doesn't change anything. What is going on? I'm using the exact same propellant. I'm using the exact same bursting charge. I'm using the exact same type of shells. Reduced shells just changes the amount of ammo that you carry. It does not impact the reload. Capped ballistic doesn't change the reload because it's just the type of shell that you fire. Is it the auxiliary engine? No. The auxiliary engine doesn't actually do anything when it comes to reload. My crew, much like his, is veteran. I don't get it. Is it draft? Because his draft was minus 15%, making for a very sleek ship. Nope. I don't get it. If you can figure it out, let me know down below in the comments. Why is my reload with smaller guns, right? 14 versus 14.9. Why is my reload 80 seconds? And why is his half? 44. Give me a centerline dual barrel. Still 71 seconds. What the fuck? What sort of... Miraculous shit has Monroe been feeding his gunners. Or his loaders. I don't get it. <laughs> I truly don't get it. Alright. Well, that'll, that'll be it for this video. Be sure to check out Monroe. Um, he's probably going to be kicking my ass. Depending on how this battle is going to go for him. Link down below in the description to his video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And again, if you know why my reload's so much worse, I am all ears. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for more.